Hey, what's going on everyone? Soul here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Pokemon White 2 Nuzlocke Randomizer playthrough. In the last episode, we defeated Berg, and were trolled endlessly by Execute in the sewer beneath this city. Uh, in this episode, we're going to keep on... I think we need to head north, um, and we're heading towards... I don't actually remember the name of the city we're going to be heading towards. So this episode is just going to be full of just mystery and wonder. Uh, now, unfortunately, on the route to the north, I will not be able to catch a Pokemon because I already caught one uh, in the last episode, and then it died almost immediately after. Oh, Colrus. Uh, what's the name? What? I need to give, like, Colrus a devoted voice because I, I feel like Colrus is going to keep popping up. I could give him, like, a skeletal voice. <laughs> that might be fun. Oh, it's you again! If it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? Um, you know what? Skeletor seems like an alright guy. Go ahead. I appreciate your cooperation! Oh, how interesting! Your Larvesta seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species! And you're a trainer with merely three badges. Fantastic. I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you'll bring out the power of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Chorus. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. Is it possible? To bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers? Or is there some other different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? Absolutely. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just me out here. He just poofed. He's a poofer. Okay, and let me make sure I actually healed. I'm pretty sure I healed. Okay, I did. Okay, cool. Yeah, so our, our team's coming along here. Four out of the six. Could have had five out of the six if Execute hadn't been an Exa cunt. But, you know, it's not like I needed a Grudon or a Scizor or a Ho-Oh or a Leafeon or a Totodile. No, 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 no. No, Execute is A-OK. -okay. And I'm not salty about it one bit. All right. Uh oh, trainer, take a look at the set. Oh, yeah, I already talked to this guy. Yeah, yeah, Pokemon hiding in the dark sand, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it unless you want to die. Does this guy want to battle me, or... He does. Where's the trainer? Hey there, trainer. Let's battle. Gentleman Stacy. Oh, we're going to have the uh, weather playing a part here. That's going to be annoying. Um, it's It's been several days since I last played, so I don't actually remember anyone's movesets. I guess I'll put in Crimson just because he, he resists the polywag. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sure I've said it before, but it's it's still very strange to me um, going into like a trainer battle or a gym battle. And I'm not under-leveled by, like, 10 levels. That, uh, the Heart Gold Muzlock um, that I just did. I feel like it's, I feel like it's giving me, like, a small form of PTSD. Like, it's, it, it did a lot of damage. It did a lot of damage, so now I'm, like, terrified going into each and every fight. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun, too. Can't really, can't really deny that. I did a decent amount. Gotta make sure I heal Crimson up. Don't waste my time, you shithead. Okay, well. I'm gonna waste time, huh? Oh, look at you. Oh, you think you're so fucking... You think you're so big brain. Well, somehow my little... My little suicidal dragon man can heal himself and repair his cells. I don't know how, but he can. Are you serious? Three in a row? Three in a row. Okay. Can we go for four in a row? Aw, oh, you tried. Get out of my face. Four in a row, protect. 
Thank you. This will prove to be a great memory of my journey. Mm-hmm. Your warmer dam is cheap. You have, should be not nothing to be proud of. All right, now what is... Okay, let's hop off the bike. Okay, so there's just sand. There's an item down there. Now, how do I get down there? Oh, the, right, the, the, the steps. The steps that are right there. That'll probably do it. Oh, there's Chorus. Having lots of battles is the best way to train a Pokemon quickly. I agree. Oh, she's a cop. She's undercover. Bro, what is with everything being like, good against my Larvesta? Hmm. I might be able to two-shot with Smelling Salt. Let's try it. <laughs> Did I say two-shot? I meant one-shot. Damn, Mothra! What?! Holy shit! Undercover cop indeed! Alright, yeah, yeah, Pantaloons, you need to get the fuck in there right now. That just doubles its offense, doesn't it? Oh, mm hmm. Well, um, hopefully, faint attack still does a decent amount. <laughs> get, fucking, get one shot! Ooh, pantaloons! Oh, this this son of a bitch right here just one shot. Mewtwo. Your training method is great. I'm going to copy it. Undercover cop with a Mewtwo just kind of camping out here in the middle of nowhere. Colrus is over there, like a foot away. Colrus is probably shitting himself because he just saw one of my Pokemon just one shot the most powerful legendary, one of the most powerful legendaries. <laughs> Period. Oh, you've been caught by a powerful hook, which is me. I'll have a battle with you using my freshly caught Pokemon. And wouldn't be wouldn't surprise me if I went back up the, the steps and uh Colrus wasn't there anymore. He just took off. That is a really weird pose for Pincer. Why is he leaning back like that? That looks very uncomfortable. He's not even looking at me, he's focused on something else. What is that bind? Okay, cool. It did have bind. What the hell? Okay, it, but it went first turn one and then didn't? I'm gonna have a speed tie. Who has a lot of experience? I just can't help but flop about. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, 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 flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, 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 flip. Okay, grab me this. Another amulet coin. Okay, well. Yeah, all my four have items already. I couldn't remember. Well, let's heal, let's heal Mothra up. Uh, I think I have still some potions, right? I do. Five. Okay. Cool. Oh, good catch. Good catch. My next call catch will be called Victory. Your next catch will be called Victory. I don't, I don't really know what that means. <clears throat> but I do see a Pokemon that I can bully, so I will take that. that yikes well okay for some reason it never even occurred to me that this Zubat could actually hurt me like I know he's part flying but I just didn't even it didn't even click because I every Zubat I, I've seen, I, I'm so used to it just being worthless and just spamming like supersonic. <sighs> okay, cool. So now we should be ready to take on Chorus. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? Those are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crossall. Observe! With this device I created to energize Pokemon, I'll... Did 
It's a very that's a very handy uh, thing you have there. Those Crustle, were they just lying here? Out of energy with the boulders on their backs? Team Plasma said so we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Soul. I'll remember that name. Well then, I will test you to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon! Dr. Bob. <laughs> that's... I just, that's just such a plain name. It's such a plain name. I, I, he puts on this, this whole show of bravado and talking about, you know, being superior and people have a duty, etc., etc., and then Dr. Bob doesn't really have the same kind of impact as Chorus, does it? Oh, fuck off with your hypnosis. Light this cat on fire. It will die by... Oh, it might die by Sandstorm next turn. Maybe. Nice, well. Your health is mine. Holy shit. And we're in Sandstorm, which means it's special defense is sky high right now. It's gotta be pantaloons. Let's see, Violet has Levitate, but Rhyperior, his attack is so high, and Violet's defense is so low. Good thing Fighting Resist Rock. We got the Battle of the Titans here. We got the one-shot Mewtwo guy versus Rhyperior. I'm going to lower his, his, his accuracy. I feel like this might be a good idea, especially if this thing has something like Hammer Arm. I'm not sure what level it learns that. But, um... Yeah, probably isn't the worst idea. Oh, I didn't give him recover. I should have done that. I'm not taking any chances with this guy. I'm well aware of what this thing could actually do to me if it wanted to. Hopefully we can get a miss here soon. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. So it has Stomp, Scary Face, Rock Blast, and then one more. It actually did much more than I thought it would. I'll take that for sure. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now as long as I don't start getting flinched hacked. <clears throat> I was going to say, as long as I don't start getting flinch hacked, I'll be fine. And then I immediately flinch. So, you know, go figure. Horse wasn't playing around, was he? Splendid! You are quite the trainer! I see! Just like the gym leaders in each area, all the elite foreign champion in the Pokemon League! You bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them! That's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. A protein? You, you popping pills over here, Chorus? You know there's an undercover cop like 10 feet away, right? It's so frustrating. If only we could talk to Pokemon in order to bring out their power. 
But there's no way a person like that could ever exist. Well then, Soul, I hope to see you again sometime. Ma'am, I'd like to report a drug dealer. He just went that way. If you run after him, you could probably catch him. No? All right, good talk. All right, let's swap in Violet, because I haven't used Violet yet on this route. And you know what? We'll use it. We'll pop a save, too. What the hell? Is this a... Oh, I thought it was a town. It's not, though. All right? What's this? What is, what, what is, where is this? Hi, I'm Mimic a Pokemon Sound. Please listen. Okay, I'm Mimic the Sound of the Pokemon you're with. I'm Mimic one of your party Pokemon. Which party, which Pokemon was it? Um, I actually couldn't really hear it because I was too busy talking. I think it's Sorvesta. Correct! You can recognize the sound of Pokemon you always hear, right? Thank you for playing with me. This is a small gift. A Poke toy? Can I keep getting them? Okay, that's easy. That's Miss, that's uh, Violet. Okay, so what did you give me? A polka toy. Uses a flea from any battle with a wild Pokemon. Oh, nice. So is that like a permanent Poke doll? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, I have a Calcium and a Protein. Let's go ahead and use these. I'm thinking Calcium. We should either give that to Violet or Mothra. Um, but I think Mothra will learn Quiver Dance later. So we'll give it to Violet. And then Protein. Let's use that. Uh, hmm. I could use it on Crimson. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. I was going to say Pantaloons. But Pantaloons has Moxie. So Moxie is just basically like broken as, as hell <laughs> so I'm I'm good with that we'll just we'll just leave him be for now there's just random people just chilling in this blown out desert town what are we doing here people you there I've become bored I, sorry oh, she's okay I've become bored so I shall let you entertain me I see. I see. Now... Hmm. You know what I should have done? I, I really, really should have healed Pantaloons up before I went into this fight. That probably would have been a good idea. Oh my god, you have Dragon Rage! Really? Huh. Okay, all right, well, I'm thinking if you have Dragon Rage and you're going to be spamming that, I think I need to sacrifice Anastasia. Because if I put in Pantaloons right now, which is absolutely my best shot to killing this thing, and then Dragon Rage is I'm just going to be in a constant cycle of healing until Dragon Rage, until it stops using Dragon Rage. And frankly, I don't have enough healing items to wait. So... Anastasia, I am sorry, but you... What the fuck are you doing, Kiram? Anastasia, what do you have? None of these are great. None of those are going to be good. Okay. I guess we'll take the opportunity to heal. I guess. Whoops. What am I doing? Back up. Okay, bag. Last use item. There we go. All right. Now we're looking competent. Sorry, Anastasia. Okay. Okay, this game can chill with all the legends. Okay, I am faster than it, thank God. So 
thankfully we did have Anastasia uh, as a bullet sponge there. Well, you certainly know how to entertain. I thank you for your time. You, you just have a curum and you're just hanging out and just this blown out, abandoned... Where the hell are we? A max repel. Terrific. I am going to go north. And hopefully this is a town. Where is the next town? I need to heal. What is this? Okay, yeah, I know. I know all that. What are you? Who are you? All I do is look at the cars driving down the freeway. How bored are you? Where? What? Town? Town. Town? Town. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> what should I do? I can't possibly manage everything. Is there a Poké Center here? Hello there. Is there a Poké Center here? I need to heal. Welcome to Join Avenue. We don't have anything yet, as you can see. So it's just an avenue at this point. Oh, where are my manners? Let me tell you myself. I am the owner of Join Avenue. My dream is to go around the world, building avenues that bust with lots of people. The problem is, I have no one I can trust to manage the avenue. Something just struck me. You see me a trainer travel around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over this region, don't you? I know it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? No. I really need you to help me. You know what that means, don't you? No. Thank you so much. Okay, tell me what kind of a person you are. What would be your favorite phrase you use to greet everyone? Warning. The words you're about to enter may be sent to other players. Please consider them carefully before you register them. What is your favorite phrase? Everyone in the world can hear this. My favorite phrase. Um, it's going to be... We're just going to go with Chungus. That's right. That's my favorite phrase. Oh, that's a great line. Then what would you say when something truly moves your heart? Hmm. Let's choose something universal. A phrase that anyone will understand, you know? Hmm. <sighs> what do I say when I'm impressed? Mm. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Woo! Ch <laughs> Chungus! Woo! I knew it, you are the one! Who else could be so well suited to managing the avenue? Sir, it's almost time for your next appointment. Oh, I almost forgot. My assistants! Hatsune Miku and Batsune Hiku, I see. Uh, you heard me, I must leave now, so please support our newest manager. Yes, sir, please take care of yourself. Pleased to meet you. How should we address you? What is my title? Um, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm just gonna just say soul. Because I, I'm frankly, I'm so confused. Soul, now that you are the one to manage the development of the avenue, please turn it into a wonderful attraction for many people to visit. I'll explain how to develop the avenues. Please talk to me when you're ready. Is there a Pokemon Center here? That sign already has my name on it. How did that happen? How big is this place? What is this? Is this a... Yeah, okay. Anyway. Town? I made it. Nimbasa City. Okay. That looks important. I'm not going to talk to you people. Ha 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 ha! Okay. We are all healed up. I deposited... Uh, what, what the hell's her name? Anastasia? Because she is knocked out. Who? What? No matter which way I look at it, you're a trainer. But only the strongest enter this Battle Institute. So, if you beat the champion, come back. You'll be invited to the Battle Institute. I guess she was just camping the door and waiting for someone to walk up. Now, it looks like... I don't know. I have no idea who those people are. Okay, now that we're all healed up, let's go ahead and finish off this route, huh? A ruin buried under the sand. To have run into another trainer here. Doesn't this give you a grand sense of adventure? More like a sand sense of adventure. Am I right? What is with all the fucking legendaries on this route, dude? Kiram, Mewtwo, Entei... 
I hate to keep doing it, but I have to keep bringing in pantaloons. He's like the best shot I've got because he's actually bulky enough, blah, 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 bulky enough to fight these fuckers. Uh, I, there's no way I'm faster than you, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Don't burn me. So maybe I'd be faster. Maybe I could do like flinch strats, but. Yeah, no, no dice. Okay. Pantaloons is going to be like on roids and everyone else. It's just going to be normal. Gentleman Joe is off the goop. Okay, I did over half. That's good. Sorry, Articuno. If you pop up in the wild, I'll be more than happy to use you. But, uh, hey, you gotta go. Bittersweet defeat becomes a bittersweet memory. You have an Articuno and an Ente, and you are running in circles in Sand World. Okay. Oh, I should have bought some more potions. I did buy some super potions at the Poké Center, but I did not buy any regular potions. I probably should have done that. When the ruins were discovered, new construction was stopped. Guess you can't compete against the weight of history. I guess so. Desert Resort? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we, before we go into here, that's a, that's a new area, so we can catch a new Pokemon. But, 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 before we do that, I do want to fight these... There's an item back there. I do want to fight these trainers over here. Uh, let's see, I fought her. I didn't fight Backpacker Guy. What kind of Pokemon is your partner on this journey? That's a that's a reference I'm almost certain no one will understand. Okay, so we have we ran into any joke Pokemon like since we fought Chorus? I feel like we haven't. I feel like this has been the most intense stretch in the entire game so far. <laughs> if this thing has bite, it is gonna absolutely ruin Violet. Let me get out of your hair! I, crimson? I guess? I don't want to put in pantaloons. I don't want to lean on him this hard. Hopefully it doesn't do half. Okay, it did not do half. Okay, charge is fine, because I resist electric anyway. That's fine. Heal that up. I can't, I can't risk it. With Leer, Bite is doing way more damage than I'm comfortable with. Well, fucking pa da Dad Pantaloons has to come in here and just wreck shit. Clean house as always.
And then Munchlax. Okay. Well, this should be a one-shot. Look at that stat spread. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Thank you, boy. Chip away. What is chip away? Looking for an opening that strikes continually. The target stat changes don't affect this attack's damage. Okay, so it ignores, like, defense ups and stuff. Um. I'm good. We'll keep headbutt because that has the flinch thing attached to it. Wow. What an amazing and... I don't know what she said. I was too focused on talking about headbutt. Okay, that's a dead end. What's up here? There's gotta be something up here. There's just a person just chilling in the corner. Sure. Before we talk to this person. Let's heal Crimson up. Oh, that's my last potion. And then... Actually, let's use, let's use, no, let's use fresh water. And heal Violet up. There we go. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee, hey you, check out my Pokemon before you go. How many legends are you going to have? Just one, huh? Oh no, she just has the ass butt Magmar. Hey, ass butt. Now there's no way I'm faster than ass butt, right? Now, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. What is. I don't know what that does. Oh, move my stat changes. Okay. I actually did a decent amount, too, which is surprising. Ooh, ooh, quick claw. Okay, come on, get, let's get a flinch. Flinch, 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 flinch. Damn. I was hoping. Let's, let's switch to Mothra. Wow, that did a lot more than I thought it would. What the hell? So the sandstorm should to take him out. So we can just heal Mothra up, and then yeah, he should faint after this attack. What brilliant Pokemon! Thank you for the battle, dude. This whole route is like new game plus. I feel a bit down when I lose, but I also feel like each battle with my Pokemon strengthens our bond. Oh, item. Yes, that was that was worth that was worth the uh, the walk back here. One hundred percent. Okay, so I beat her. I'm gonna be using up all of my healing items that I just bought on this one route. <sighs> Um, yeah. Gotta heal Crimson up. Can't just leave him low. That's a double battle. That's like a rich guy item. 
Baton Pass. That could have been anything, anything else, and it was Baton Pass. Probo Pass. Actually, you know what? He's Rock Steel, so I could submission and this dude you quite a bit. Oh, that would have one shot at him. Go back in the sand. All right, let's fight this guy, this rich guy. My gorgeous Pokemon, and I have come to frolic about Relic Castle. Here, take a look at my Pokemon. No joke Pokemon in this route. None. In this area, in this desert town... You can't even hang out in this area unless your Pokemon are legit. Okay, luckily I can actually fight this thing because I resist everything it's trying to do. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and throw a recover down. Oh, of course my Quick Claw activates. Out because it was sweet scent. No, well, the only attacking moves this thing has, I resist. So that's good. Oh, and I immediately woke up too. All right, see ya. Your strength is quite high class indeed. <laughs> Visiting famous landmarks with my most favorite Pokemon is a truly exceptional experience. Okay, and that's going to be a double battle. Now, how do I want to handle this? Um, I could try Mothra and Violet. Let's just hope for the best. Ice Hunt! It's Ice Hunt! Ruin! It's a ruin! I can't wait for these kids to have ten times better Pokemon than I do and they can barely talk. What the fuck is going on in this route? Cursed, curse route. Deoxys used Leer. Okay, so Deoxys is very fragile. So I'm hoping. Oh my god, it has Pursuit. Good thing I didn't try and switch Violet out. Oh. Okay, Fero, you need to you need to go off my nuts. Burn. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, that makes this Fero so much less dangerous. Because now, even if it uses like a flying type attack on Mothra, Mothra will be fine. And now I can actually tank these pursuits better without 
you know, being afraid a crit will drop me down to red health. Oh my god, and that was with it being burned. Oh, this Fero could have just wrecked my shit. Just, just die. Well, wow, but it's ant hunt. No, it's a ruin. Legendary, legendary row, row is what we're gonna call this town. No, 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 that's a shitty name. I don't know. Just, just basically, just take away from it that this town is absolutely terrifying, and I need to leave ASAP. It still hurts me that Crimson has a calm nature. <sighs> okay, so that's everyone in this area, right? Now I have this walking guy up here, and I think that's it, right? Oh no, I already fought him. Oh, so I'm done. Oh, well, then I just wasted those super potions. Because yeah, I fought her. Okay, well... Maybe not. No, no, maybe not. Because, no, this is, this is a new area up here, right? Yeah. Now... Okay, so there's dark sand, so let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and get an encounter here. Um, well, it's a steel type. So I guess I couldn't hurt to have. I'm not going to level it up because I don't like Bronzong at all. But having it in my party at least, you know. Alright, let's go to shop. First try. They are found in ancient tombs. The patterns on their back are said to be imbued with mysterious power. Um. Hmm. You know what? He kind of looks... He looks like a George to me. He's going to be George. Alright, now get out of the sand ASAP so that when I run into another wild Pokemon and it's something decent, I don't want to shoot myself. I feel like if I'm going to have Mothra in, I need to put Pantaloons in. As some kind of big boy protection, because... Yeah, the last double battle just about gave me a stroke. The Desert Resort is vast and the Pokemon here are strong. It's an ideal place to test your skill... Oh, you're not a trainer. What? Go through the gate and just head straight. That's how you get to the relic castle. Oh no, there's sand here. Lots of sand. Oh, I'm going to see something that's going to make me want to scream. Okay, maybe not. Oh. The relic castle's in the desert resort. You can tell just by looking at it that time has been cruel. I'm a school kid, and I'll tell you this. Just like in caves, you can run to Pokemon almost anywhere in the desert. But they don't like hiding in the pale sand. So if you walk there, you won't have to worry about battling. Okay. New area. And lots of trainers here, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is a big area. Skyplate. That's worthless. This is a huge area. Oh, and she just sniped me from all the way downtown. If you want to know what I've got in my backpack, why don't you try to beat me? Oh, that was a guy. Okay, well, whatever. Gentleman Kim. Ha! 
Nice. Flame body is such a good ability. Oh, I love it. So many things at play here. The sandstorm damage, the leech seed recovery, the burn damage. So many different animations. Just just go down, man. Whoa, I'm going to be buried. A desert is like one giant sandbox, right? So come on, let's let our Pokemon play. Now, Weezing, I don't suppose you would have something dangerous like self-destruct or anything like that, right? Right? Weezing, oh my god, I almost put in Crimson. I forgot I put Pantaloons in the second slot. Let's go for some flinch threats, I guess. Okay, good. Didn't get poisoned. Whoever is the most fun is the winner. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm just steadily running out of heal items, healing items. Wish I knew what level Crimson leveled up. Is it 30? I feel like it might be 30. If it's 30, we still have a ways to go yet. <sighs> Armor fossil, okay. So this was a, a dead end? Okay. This area is huge! I'm just trying to just get the, the scope of this place. Look at this! Two metal coats, like, 20 feet away from each other. Okay, we have an FBI agent over there. Firestone. Okay, that's... Interesting. Well, I guess we have ourselves an encounter here, right? So. I am a trainer before I'm a nurse. I'm itching for a Pokemon battle. If I defeat you, will you heal my Pokemon? This thing has Dragon Rage. 100%. Excuse me. Oh my God! It has that one ability. What's it called? S sand, sand, something. Sand of age. Sand rush. I got. I got to switch. I got. I have to switch. I got to put in. You know who? <laughs> well, I could put in Violet. I guess. No. No. I have to put in Pantaloons. This 
Violet still doesn't know anything worth a damn to really take anyone out. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, in the, the, I'm getting like a, an old memory coming back. Doesn't this does this lady heal you? Uh, like once you beat her. Okay, let's get you all fixed up. Just leave it to me. So I did remember right, and then you can just talk to her whenever you want to get rehealed, right? Oh, so good. Okay, so this means I can actually properly like train in this area without being terrified of death. Well, I mean, I can still be terrified of death, but. You know what I mean. Okay. This is great. Let's heal. And save. Alright, let's talk to uh, Judo Kickstan. I came clear out to the desert resort to train, but it would be so much easier to proceed if I had a water type Pokemon. Oh, never mind. Alright, come on. I want a new Pokemon. It's the end of the team. Something good. Are you... Oh. My. God. Okay, now, here's the, here's the, here's the fun part. Now I gotta catch this fucking thing. And what's even scarier is that I'm on a time limit, because eventually, the sandstorm will kill it. <laughs> oh my god. This is, I am, I am terrified right now. Well, not terrified, I'm just, I'm very nervous. Because I, I would love to have this Pokemon. In my team. Okay. If you use the start of a wild encounter. Alright. Quick ball, this is what you're here for. A Pokemon created by recombining re 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 recombining Mew's genes. It's said to have the most savage heart among Pokemon. I fucking love Mewtwo. He's one of my favorite psychic types for sure. Oh my god, what am I gonna name you? <sighs> okay, so as much as I would love to take credit for this one, I cannot. Um, I was really kind of at a loss. I was gonna name it something like Psycat, and I was just like, that, that sounds really dumb. So I went looking at some like nickname suggestions, and Frieza kept coming up, and I freaking love that. It totally works. Yeah, so we're going to name him Frieza. All right, Frieza. What are, what, are, what are we looking at here? Raises defense, lowers special defense. You know what? Frankly, I don't even care. It didn't lower his speed or his special attack, so I'm cool with it. So I'm cool with it. All right then. So this uh, wow shit got real real quick. So we have a dragon flying. We have bug fire, ghost, dark fighting, psychic. I would okay if I can get like a solid water type, we are going to be looking really really good. Like a solid water or a solid grass type. I typically don't use grass types, but. I will make I will make an exception. Okay, so we're gonna 100% give recover to Mewtwo. Get rid of disable that is absolutely worthless. I wonder, can you learn Signal Beam? Damn. Okay. All right. Now, how about Aurora Beam? I don't know why you'd be able to, but why not? Let's check. All right. Pantaloons being the only one that can learn that is so funny. I'd be hesitant to give this anyone. Why can Mothra learn Hydro Cannon? What? Okay. Well, anyway. I guess I'll give the Mewtwo uh, Echoed Voice. That way it can actually, you know, fucking hurt something. Because it ain't going to be swift. And, uh... I guess I can get rid of barriers since <laughs> barriers is garbage. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Keeping barrier might have been a good idea. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I could bear. Eh, 
Nah, it's alright. Okay. Let's take this Mewtwo out for a spin, shall we? Watch me fight. Watch me fight a trainer. They send out a legendary, and then my Mewtwo just gets ganked immediately. I would cry my eyes out. Alright, come on. Scorching Desert, a passion for adventure. It's me, Sar Sarman San Diego. I remember Centret. Oh my god, I still can't wrap my mind around the fact that I have a. F <laughs> this is awesome. All right. All right, our first victory as Mewtwo is against the Sentret. So we're, we're working our way up. Speed is crucial, a tree to burn. What? Okay. Whether it is hot or cold, there's no problem if you have passion. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a jump cut here. I'm going to train and level this Mewtwo up. Uh, get him caught up with... Uh, Probably get everyone to 25, so I'm going to get Crimson up a level as well. Uh, and then I will be back. So yeah, uh, just sit tight, guys. You won't even notice I've been gone. I am back. It has been a couple days since I last recorded. Uh, but I leveled everyone up to actually level 27. I was feeling inspired, and this dark grass, uh, dark sand rather, right next to me, plus the nurse standing right there, was a per was perfect recipe. Perfect recipe for just training and leveling up. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to take advantage of this. And I just, yeah, I leveled everyone up and just kept talking to her when I got low on health. And it worked out really, really nice. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, yeah, I, I fought like two random trainers in this area, I think. I can't remember if I did it on camera or not. Um, but yeah, I'll be clearing the rest of the area out, kind of exploring this. And then we'll uh, probably end the episode here shortly. Maybe. You're the second person to come up clear out here to talk to me. I am so moved. So I'll give you this. For Pokemon holds the soft sand, the power of its ground type moves goes up. What, are, what an odd, what an odd man. Okay, so that I assume is where I want to be heading. But first, before we do that, we have. Plenty of trainers in the area. An expansive desert and a castle buried in sand. There's no doubt about it. Treasure's here. It's been a year since the day my internal treasure detective went off, but I still haven't found any yet. I'm still following my dream, though. And I'm having so much fun I can barely stand it. It's been each day living my dream. Is that my treasure? I don't know. I don't know. What? I don't know. Is this person wearing pajamas in the middle of the desert? Hmm. You're strong, aren't you? It's kind of tough when you know that before you even start to fight. Or are you a psychic? This guy might be a psychic. Girl. God. Oh my god. God, Tia. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even know that God was a title somewhere in this. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. God damn. Well. Fighting God out in the middle of the desert. Why not? <sighs> Watchdog, please. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and sub out. Oh, and I feel like I need to say this, but, um, the more I use this emulator, the more that I'm just in love with it. Drastic it has been worth every single penny. So, for all those that suggested Drastic, um, kudos to all of you in a gold star because I have had. Zero crashing. I've had zero bugs. I've had zero issues with this thing. I've been playing on this file uh, for over eight hours total. And no problems whatsoever. It's almost as if I didn't have ESP. I can't do anything against you. I like to play tag with my Pokemon. They use teleport. 
Todd's going to have fun too, I guess. But yeah, um, going from NDS to Drastic has been just the biggest improvement I think I've ever seen. Oh, a sea of sand. I don't need go-go-go goggles here. The Mirage Tower in the desert of the Hohen region has disappeared. You know if it's desert also swallowing up the Relic Castle little by little. Okay, I don't want to go too far into the grass cause, or sand because I don't want to trigger an, exp uh, an encounter. This guy, I think, haven't fought him yet. This is a really, really big area. I'm wandering the world trying to find a place where I belong. How about you? I'm trying to find a place where you belong and you're walking in circles in the middle of a desert. Cool. But yeah, that the NDS, man, it's just constant crashing. I couldn't go like three or four battles in a row um, when trying to level people without needing to save because it would just constantly just try and crash on me and it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. So I'm very, very happy that uh Drastic has been nothing short of just stellar. Also that little shit had crit me. I lost, so this is where I belong either. No, we have that nurse over there on the right. Let's just sub him out. Let's just sub Mothra out and we'll just talk to the nurse. Okay, so if I go right. Oh, there's a person up here. It's another psychic. I will use my supernatural powers to help my Pokemon. God Marshal. Multiple gods. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just do the, uh, the tried and true method. When in doubt, pantaloons it out. One shots. Nice. Oh, well. Pardon me, sir. Let me get out of your hair. I'll send in Frieza. Still cannot believe that Frieza's in my team. <laughs> Oh boy, that was a crit, wow. Hmm, you know, we'll just echo voice. I was thinking about using Future Sight, but I figure I can probably kill this thing before Future Sight would even hit. I would be correct. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, there's the weird guy that was like, oh, you talked to me. Great. Okay, there's the backpacker guy. I felt like he couldn't belong up there. This guy. Okay, yeah. Go, go, goggles. A leaf stone. Hey, look at that. If I would have caught the one of the cucks in the sewer, I could have evolved it. But uh, you know, I think I'm actually I think I'm actually okay. Oh, come on, go back. Nope, stop, just stop. Wow, there's so many Pokemon here. I, when when I was training, cause I, I the chances of Mewtwo actually popping up were quite low uh, when I was training. You, Mewtwo only popped up maybe 
four or five times when I was um, leveling people. Um, the, the most common spawn was probably Zorark. I mentioned Zorark earlier. And then um, there was another one. It really wasn't worth much experience. I don't remember who it was. But uh, so I ended up like getting a really rare slash lucky encounter roll. My first encounter here, which is pretty, pretty nuts. Okay, that's just a dead end. Okay, I think I just about have this uh, area cleaned out. Yeah, I already fought her. Okay, this person might be new. I don't recognize them. Okay, they were. Okay, this should be the last person. No matter how desperately I try to scoop the sand, it flows through my fingers. It's kind of sad somehow. I suppose it depends on who you ask. Oh. Is that all? Alright. I wonder if I'm faster than Lugia. Because if I remember correctly, Lugia isn't that quick. Okay. Never mind. Okay, um, what do you know, George? This is the first time I've used you. George has Hypnosis Confuse Ray. That'll be very good for uh, encounters, Pokemon encounters in the future. Okay, if George is faster than Lugia, then I don't think I have anything to worry about. Oh, wait, Lugia is probably using Whirlwind. That's the, only, that's the only plausible explanation there. Let's put Violet in. On. It's just so shit. And this thing keeps using Whirlwind. It always, you know what? Even when I'm not trying to use him, he always just shows up. Pantaloons is. He's everywhere. He's everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Victory slips away. Yes, just like the sand. Okay, yeah, you're you're so deep. All right. Okay, so the nurse is down here. Yep. Okay, I think it's about time we explored Relic Castle. nice thing is Relic Castle is going to count as an entirely new area, so I'll be able to catch a Pokemon there too. So hopefully it's something good, and then uh, we'd have our uh, sixth party member. Because Crimson, Violet, Frieza, Mothra, and Pants, and those guys are all locks. George is the last bastion of uh, randomness, I suppose. <laughs> Once George is replaced, then the yeah, team's going to be pretty nice. Is that Chorus? No, okay. I couldn't tell because the, the thing was in the way. There are two things I've learned about quicksand. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall. And if you try to run through it, you'll fall. So don't walk through the middle and don't run. Okay. My psychic type Pokemon just started making noises. Is that because we're in the ruins? Or is it because of you? You mean they just started making noises, like whimpering, screaming, shrieking? <laughs> that's, that's a very funny image to think of. Oh, Weavile. I love Weavile. Weavile is one of my favorite um, dark types for sure. Hmm. You know what? Let's go for a submission. Oh my god, submission. Please don't miss. It has 80 accuracy. Please don't miss. Good. Oh, get one shot. Quad weakness. Crimson having a rock head is actually pretty nice. Just 
staying at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Just being here fills me with magical power. I forgot Swoobat was a thing. I'm kind of upset I remember now. Hmm. Mm, I really, I, I don't want to take the risk. I really don't. Um. I'll just put freeze in. Cause I, I'm one crit away from just feeling like wanting to cry. I'm already, I'm feeling, I'm vibing, I'm feeling good. I don't want to swoop out of all things to crit me. Seem to be full of magical power too. Okay. I'm really kicking myself. I, I've been saying this, but I'm really, really kicking myself for not buying some actual potions because my my life is so low. Sheer cold. <sighs> okay. All right. Who we got? Who we got? Togepi. Uh, mm, nah, that ain't it. I'll tell you what, Togepi. If you survive submission, I'll catch you. Darn. I am upset. Alright, let's head into this one. When I am here, I feel like I may be crushed by sorrow. You there, let us have a bout. I'm starting to think that this god title that they're all giving each other isn't, they're not actual gods. I know, very big surprise. I'm starting to think that um, these are maybe uh, self-given titles. Okay, let's sort of recover, sand attack, that's fine. Thanks for the free heal. Okay, and then let's put in the man, the myth, the legend. Oh my god, it's so nice that the uh, sandstorm weather effect isn't going anymore. <laughs> That's the one thing about Wither that really, really annoys me in every single Pokemon game is that you always have those couple seconds where the game has to tell you that it's raining or it's sunny or it's blowing wind or whatever. It's just so obnoxious. I hate it. This mount, I will not forget it. Like, I, like, trust me, I get it. I can see the rain effects on the screen. I can clearly tell it's still raining. Please stop telling me. I need to use Repel. I need to use Repel before something really good appears, and then I want to cry because my spawn was Togepi. Then again, I can't really complain because um, I had a Mewtwo spawn on, in the desert. So, you know, bad with the good, I guess. Okay, I know I have a couple of Repels. Where are they at? It's not, it's not in medicine, right? Okay, so it has to be in items. A max repel? Yeah, you know, let's use a max repel, because I'm not sure how long I'm even going to be in here. Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Hold on. Is there... Is this it? There's no way. Is this really it? 
This is this seems very very small. I could have sworn from playing the originals that there was this was way larger. So like a secret. There's got to be a secret somewhere. Was it one of the corners? I think I remember something of like th like there's like sand stacked in a corner or something, and then you can then use that to climb over. Maybe not. I could have sworn this area was larger. That's where the item is. Yeah, no, I guess that's it. Or at least that's all I can access right now. Well, this was very disappointing. Okay, well. I guess we'll uh, we'll head back to town, and then um, probably probably end the episode at that point. I think, yeah, this is a, this is a good time to do it. So in this episode, we ventured north. We <laughs> we fought legendary plaza, legend the town of of ghosts, silence, and legends everyone on that route had a legend it was insane at least one legend some had more than one um and then we went into the desert found ourselves a couple of people calling themselves god and caught a mewtwo of all pokemon so yeah this was a very this is a very uh interesting episode so in the next one we will be let's see what town this is i actually can't remember the name of the town off the top of my head yeah, here's this weird... I don't even know what this is. I'm going to avoid Hatsune Miku and her brother, Boats and Oniku. Nimbasa. Okay. Ooh, Elisa! She's the gym leader of this town. Nice, nice. Okay, Elisa's pretty nice. Okay, yeah, so here's the Pokemon Center. But yeah... So in the next episode, guys, we will be going and assumedly fighting Elisa, since we are already here in Nambasa. I'll also explore the town a little bit, see if there's any items or anything to grab. Um, and yeah, we will continue the adventure. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I will see you guys here in the next episode here, hopefully very soon. Hopefully within the, hopefully within the next couple days or so. So yeah, take care of yourselves. We'll talk again soon, guys. Take care.